we would like to give you a warm welcoming to this territory. The Wasanic peoples have lived and worked on this land since time immemorial and made many sacrifices to defend Canada. More than 4,000 status Indigenous men enlisted in each world war, the majority as volunteers, with an overwhelming amount being Indigenous youth, our age. This resulted in these men having to give up their status and receive unequal access to benefits and programs to help veterans reestablish themselves back into a civilian life. Every year on November 11th, we as Canadians pause and take a moment to remember, reflect upon, and honour those who have served and continue to serve Canada in times of war, conflict, and peace. Today, as we should do every day, we acknowledge and remember those who fought for us and sacrificed their lives for the freedom of our country. Please welcome Austin, Helia, and Serena for the performance of O Canada. Remembrance Day was first recognized in 1919 to acknowledge the armistice agreement that ended the First World War on Monday, November 11, 1918 at 11 a.m. We remember the more than 2.3 million Canadians who have served throughout our nation's history and the more than 118,000 who have made the ultimate sacrifice. A critical community of people to acknowledge and remember at this time are the Indigenous soldiers. Through residential schools, cadet training, and service in the Army, there were many attempts to extinguish the culture of the Indigenous soldiers. However, they rose above and used their beliefs and traditions to survive and succeed. Indigenous veterans joined the war effort to fight for their families and communities at home, despite serving a country that didn't treat them with the great amount of respect and honor they deserved. Today, we acknowledge all those Indigenous veterans and say thank you to them for their bravery and sacrifices. Brave soldat, brave soldat, à la guerre, à la guerre, vous avez au foie, vous avez au chaud, pour la paix, pour la paix. Brave soldat, brave soldat, à la guerre, à la guerre, vous avez au faim, vous avez souffert, pour la paix, pour la paix. Brave soldat, brave soldat. Aujourd'hui, aujourd'hui, nous voulons vous dire, nous voulons vous dire, un merci, un merci. Together, we have made change in the world. Canadian soldiers have assisted and fought for freedom in the Afghanistan War, the Persian Gulf War, the Korean War, World War One, World War Two, and the South African War. Along with the fight for freedom, Canadians have taken pride to promote peace in countries such as Lebanon, Somalia. Rwanda, Haiti, Sudan, and others. Together, we have made change with support on the home front. Canadian veterans are not limited to those out on the battlefield. Whether from fires, floods, or other threats, these men and women on the home front have risked their lives and safety for our protection, and today we acknowledge and remember their service. In Flanders fields, the poppies blow between the crosses, row on row, that mark our place, and in the sky, the larks, still bravely singing, fly, scarce heard amid the guns below. We are the dead. Short days ago, we lived, felt dawn, saw sunset glow, loved and were loved, and now we lie, 
in Flanders Fields. Take up our quarrel with the foe. To you, from failing hands, we throw the torch. Be yours to hold it high. If ye break faith with us who die, we shall not sleep, though poppies grow in Flanders fields. In today's climate, we are reminded of hope. Hope that change will continue to come and hope that the world is becoming stronger and more resilient with each new challenge we face. In times of war, Canadians relied on hope to make it through. We must take a look at our past hardships and victories and let those motivate us to work together and take on the challenges that face us today, both nationally and globally. As a country and as Canadians, we've proven in the past the power we hold as a nation and the incredible challenges we can overcome when we work together. Today, it is important to remember the sacrifices made in the past by our brave Canadian veterans to ensure the freedoms we have today. Freedom of conscience and religion, freedom of thought, belief, opinion, and expression, freedom of peaceful assembly, and freedom of association. Thank you all for taking this moment to watch this, and I do hope you take this time to reflect. November the 11th is a significant day in Canada. It is a time when we need to remember and reflect upon those who've served in our country to make Canada such a wonderful place as we know it and as the world sees us. To all Canadian veterans, thank you for your service. We honour and remember you, lest we forget. <laughs>